Meanwhile, Andrea Joyce has a gold medal guest in Nastia Lukin. I certainly do. The 2008 all-around Olympic gold medalist. I'm thinking, and I know, Al, you feel the same way, that whenever we're at these gymnastics competitions, we're amazed that the gymnasts say they never get dizzy when they're tumbling. But your schedule since Beijing, how much has that made you dizzy? <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. You know, it's I've had the time of my life, but it's so weird to know that it's almost been two years. And um, when you think about it one way, it feels like it's been a few months, but then you look back and you can't imagine all the things that I've done in places I've been. And you had a really big night here last night, the first ever Nastia Lukin Supergirl Cup. 20 years old, what does it mean to you to have an event named after you? Um, it's a little crazy, and just seeing my name on all the signs, and I got to design the leotards and warm-ups, and so to be able to see my name and my image on all of that was really neat. But, um, you know, I always felt the need to give back to USA Gymnastics and the whole gymnastics community, so that was kind of our way. Well, it was a great competition, 36 up-and-comers, and one of the highlights, certainly the big star of the night, 13-year-old Lexi Priestman, and uh, what did you see from her that impressed you the most? Unbelievable talent, and, uh, you know, just to be able to see her filled in a, you know, pressure-filled situation, and, you know, going into her last event, it was the balance beam, and she knew that she was in the lead, and um, put up a great routine and an incredible dismount that, um, you know, last time we saw someone do that was Sean Johnson at the Olympics, so it was really cool. Well, it was a lot of fun, and we have Lexi here with us now. Congratulations on a terrific big night for you as well. After the event, your coach, Mary Lee Tracy, was so impressed with the way that you held yourself together and the poise that you showed. I mean, you are 13, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So now it's a day later, and you can tell us what was really going through your mind last night. Were you nervous just a little bit? Um, I was very nervous going to beam knowing I was on top. Um, I just thought about the secret and that if I just believed in myself and was confident, since I put in all the numbers, that I would hit. Well, you did, and I have to ask you, what is the biggest memory you think you'll take away from this? Um, probably just not only winning, but I met so many older kids, and they just, a great experience for me and my teammate for meeting just. And an Olympic gold medalist, too. That was pretty cool. And we know that you're about a month too young to compete in London, which is really too bad. But Nastia, no age limit for you. I mean, you're probably like a perfect age and you've got a little bit of experience, what is the likelihood that we'll see you in London? Um, you know, I know I'll be there whether I compete or not, but I know if I'll be sitting in the stands knowing, not knowing if I didn't give 100% that I will, will we regret it. And so, um, you know, hopefully get back into the gym and just give 100% and see where it takes me. When you give up gymnastics, you can be a politician because you avoided that question beautifully. <laughs> back to you, Al. <laughs>